not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Good. I was afraid I was going to have to abandon my lab here. That would mean starting all over again. It's not easy trying to make Ultra Jet, you know. I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, Ultra Jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Fine, anything to get what I need. Now scram, I got some preparing to do. God damn are you one ugly son of a bitch. Ah, you're back. Good. So, what did you bring me? Excellent. Keep it coming. Keep it moving, me. Something to say? You got the stuff, I got the caps. A match made in heaven. Son of a bitch. Ah, you're back. Good.
So, what did you bring me? Sure. I stay away from them and they don't bother me. It's a good relationship. They live somewhere east of here. If you're feeling foolish, I think there's an underground way through their place, deeper into the metro station here. Yep. Do what you gotta do. Slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? All right, all right. I guess you look harmless enough. 
If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. Hey, be more careful. I can see How you did your leaders allow the most powerful nation on Earth to die? The answer is really quite simple. Incompetence. Incompetence at the highest echelons of power. We put our trust, our faith, in hard wits. Our intrepid leaders had everything they wanted. Power, wealth, business. They made them lazy. Oh, yes, and laziness breeds stupidity. Rest assured, I will not make the mistakes of my predecessors. When John Henry Eden builds a country, he builds it to last. My darling America, deserve that. Don't you deserve a future free of war and fear and terrible uncertainty? Of course you do. As President of the United States, you have Keep your my hands to yourself. pledge that I will never rest. Never rest until we have what we deserve. A place to true call home. And now, dearest America, we must say much work to be done. The army never rests. Never. Until next time, this is John Henry Eaton signing off. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. Ian, what do you want from him? I'd never thought of it that way. I suppose he should get a chance to talk to someone like you. Here's the password to his isolation. Just please don't mention my name to Vance about this. I understand. Goodbye. Well, well. I haven't had a customer in a while. Last one I had was a bit chewy. Know what I mean? If your caps are good, you can buy whatever you like. Beat standing there drooling all over the merchandise.
another satisfied customer. Say it ain't so. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons and the unclean. I am afraid that the knowledge required to appreciate our true nature is far above your level of comprehension. Humans call for our extermination or reform. Reforming implies something is wrong with us and needs to be eliminated. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. Your open-mindedness is very rare for a human. I find that fascinating. Allow me to bolster your insight with a lesson in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our prey. What would that make us in your eyes? Then that is a mystery you will have to solve on your own. In ceremony. Each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover what we are. Return to me when you are ready. Sometimes, with all the troubles we have, it seems impossible to hold it together. You wish to speak to me again? Indeed. Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, 
Ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Now you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reigned in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. No. It would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. What do you want? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? must think I'm some kind of a monster. Help? How can you help? There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? She... 
She really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Tamper with that, we're gonna have a problem. Hello there, stranger. I hear that you decided to speak to Ian regardless of my warnings. Be that as it may, I am still interested in what you conversed about. Did he come to a decision? As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem with your idea is that these blood packs are scarce. What do you propose? Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. The hero of the day. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me.
I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you.